When designing a product, designers and engineers go through many steps, such as ideation, simulation, prototyping and testing, and assembly. But when building something physical, we need materials to build the product. We need to select the ideal materials based on the requirements of our design. So where does material selection fit in the design process? Is there a logical way for us to choose from the thousands of engineering materials to select the optimal ones for our product? In this ANSYS Innovation course on basic systematic material selection, we will introduce the Ashby selection methodology as a way to tackle this challenge and demonstrate how this can be used with ANSYS software products, such as ANSYS Grant to EduPack, within the design process to select materials. This methodology was pioneered by Professor Mike Ashby from the University of Cambridge, and we will heavily be referencing his textbook, Material Selection in Mechanical Design, throughout this course. We'll be covering topics such as the design process, as introduced in Chapter 1 of our textbook, the methodology itself, which is introduced in Chapter 4, showcasing how we can apply constraints and objectives from our methodology using ANSYS Grant to EduPack, and finally, go through a case example of material selection for a heat sink and showcase how we can incorporate our material selection methodology alongside simulation in the design process. My name is Dr. Caitlin Tyler, and I'll be your instructor for this course. Thank you for joining me today, and let's get started.